Good day to all, dear viewers and subscribers of the channel, Vitaly Sokolov is with you. If you are programming in Pascal or Delphi and you need a free programming environment to create commercial and free projects, then perhaps it makes sense to pay attention to the Lazarus programming environment. And before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, put a thumbs up and write a comment, this is important for promoting the video. Thank you all in advance. Lazarus is a cross-platform development environment for free Pascal, compatible with Delphi. After the failed Megiddo project in 1998, which was supposed to be a clone of Delphi. In 1999, the development of the Lazarus environment began. This is a programming environment for objects Pascal with a Delphi-style interface, but free and open source. Lazarus includes LCL libraries that are more or less compatible with Delphi VCL. The environment uses the free Pascal compiler. It is thanks to him that you can compile your applications on a huge number of different platforms and operating systems that are supported by the compiler. The developers of the Lazarus programming environment are Cliff Beesman, Shane Miller, Michael A. Hess, as well as many others. At the moment, the Lazarus team is developing the environment. The environment is written in Object Pascal. Lazarus has a free license. According to the GPL license, the user has the right to run the environment for any purpose, distribute it, study and modify its source code, but make it publicly available. You can create your own programs both free and commercial, paid. It is not necessary to provide the source code of your application, but if you use LCL and FCL libraries, you need to leave links to them. The environment supports Object Pascal and Assembler languages, Intel and at and mode. You can install Lazarus in Windows, Linux and Mac OS operating environments. Thanks to Free Pascal Compiler, you can create projects for a huge number of architectures and operating systems, as well as create web applications with code translation into JavaScript. Many LCL components are supported, but you can also adapt VCL components from Delphi to work with them, or you can write your own components. The interface of the environment supports multilingual localization, so each user can work with a language that is convenient for him. You can flexibly adjust the graphic modes and the size of the EXE file. There is syntax highlighting, formatting and substitution of code templates. There is compatibility with projects that are written in Delphi and Free Pascal, since its compiler is used. A large number of components and libraries are supported. Lazarus also has fairly low system requirements. Of the minuses, we can note the presence of some bugs and flaws, and a certain slowness in some moments. There is no data snap, which is available in Delphi. There is no support for dynamically loaded packages. But the flaws are corrected fairly quickly and work on this environment is actively continuing. Summing up, we can say that Lazarus is perfect for programming projects of any level and for a wide range of platforms and operating systems. Bundling with Free Pascal Compiler makes Lazarus a powerful software tool. Of course, there are still flaws, but if you write about them to developers on the official website in the bug section, they promptly try to eliminate them. Both the compiler and the programming environment are developing very quickly and are replenished with many new features. The popularity of this environment and compiler is constantly growing and is already being used in a variety of fields, from working with databases and application applications to medical, scientific or gaming projects. There are several ways to download the Lazarus programming environment. I would recommend the second one. For the first method, you need to launch your browser and write Lazarus or Lazarus IDE in the search field. Go to the official website. We find the Download Now button. Under this button there is a drop-down list in which you can select the operating system in which we plan to install the Lazarus environment. If desired, you can download it from SourceForge. When downloading, depending on the browser settings, the installer file is downloaded either to the download folder or to the folder you selected. After downloading, run the installer file. Select the language of the installer, click Next, select the path where we want to install the programming environment. By default, this is the local C drive. To select another location, click the Browse button. If you check the box next to Install again, then the old version of the Lazarus environment will remain on the computer and will be able to continue working. Thus, a large number of independent versions of Lazarus can be installed on one computer. 
This may be necessary for projects for different builds and versions of Lazarus. We can see how much space the programming environment will take up. Click Next. In this window, you can select the type of installation by selecting the desired assembly from the drop-down list, or you can manually tick the boxes next to the items that we need in Lazarus. Click Next again. If you do not want an item to appear in the Start menu, then check the box, Do not create a folder in the Start menu and click Next. If it is convenient for you to launch Lazarus through the Start, then just click Next. In the next window, you can tick Create a shortcut on the desktop. Also, if you already have an installed version of Lazarus or it was earlier and you want to configure a new version from scratch and not apply the old settings, check the box Delete all existing directory settings. Click the Next button and then the Install button. If you do not do this, the old Lazarus environment settings will be applied. After deleting the old settings or during the first installation, when Lazarus is first launched, we can ask you to specify the settings file, in which case you can click Restore Settings File or select the settings file on your computer. The second installation option. You need to write FPC Up Deluxe in the search bar in the browser. FPC Up Deluxe is a graphical installer of FPC and Lazarus, with flexible detailed settings and the ability to download even new, not yet stable versions, as well as additional modules and installation types. It does not clog the operating system registry and allows you to have a large number of different independent versions on your computer, but you may have to manually configure file association. This is done by right-clicking on the Lazarus project files, selecting properties and clicking change next to the application type in the list, select Lazarus or click more applications and find the Lazarus exe file, specifying it as the launching program. Go to the required site or you can download it from GitHub. Next, select the file for the desired operating system and download it. After downloading, move the file to the folder where you want to install Lazarus. Run the installer file. If the operating system displays a message about an unwanted application, you need to click more details and select Run Anyway. After launching the window, a warning will be issued, which you can either close or agree with it. In case of consent, the information will be forwarded. On the left side you will see two columns with a selection. In the first column, you can select the FPC compiler version, and in the second column to the right, you can select the Lazarus version. Under them there is a button to install only FPC or only Lazarus. Even lower is a large button for installing both FPC and Lazarus at the same time. If the stable button is pressed at the bottom, the latest stable version will be installed. And a little to the right, you can enable the installation of LAMW, this will allow you to create applications for the Android operating system and a number of other platforms, that is, cross-platform functionality is added. Clicking on the Setup Plus button opens a window with additional settings. Before installation, a message will be displayed about the selected type of installation, with which you need to agree and the installation process will begin. After the installation is complete, you can use the Lazarus underscore FPC Deluxe shortcut to launch the programming environment. If the shortcut does not appear on the desktop, then go to the FPC Deluxe folder, go to the Lazarus folder there, then right-click on the file Lazarus.exe and select the Send to Desktop menu items. The interface of the environment visually resembles the Delphi 7 environment, but more advanced in some aspects. If you need to change the interface language, then click Tools, then Options. Go to the General tab on the left. In the drop-down list after the word Language, select the language we need. After selecting the language, click OK. We close the Lazarus environment and run it again. After restarting, the environment interface will be translated into the selected language. There are several ways to remove the Lazarus environment. The first. In older versions of the Windows operating system, you can go to the Start menu, as well as select the Control Panel, then select Show Small Icons in the drop-down list at the top right, and then select Programs or Add and Remove Programs. In new versions of Windows, you can simply write Install and Uninstall programs in the search bar. Launching the application. In the list, you need to find our environment, click on it and click Delete. Also, to remove the program, you can use specialized programs such as CCleaner or Uninstall tool through the Uninstall item. Second. Go to the folder with Lazarus installed, find the Uninstall file and run it. 
when a message about the removal of the Lazarus environment is issued, you need to agree and start the removal process. Third, navigate to the FP Cup Deluxe or Lazarus folders and delete these folders manually. After removal, you need to check the following folders for the presence of folders and files from the Lazarus environment, the place where the environment was installed, the documents folder, app data, or application data, and program data on the local disk where the operating system is installed. Also, do not forget to clean the registry after completely removing Lazarus with specialized programs, such as CCleaner, Uninstall Tool, Advanced System Care or others. That's it for me. I hope this video was useful for you. If so, don't forget to put a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and write a comment, this is important for promoting the video. Vitaly Sokolov was with you. Good luck with your programming and see you in the next video.